Hey everybody, Aza Grindel here, and I have made my way back to the uh, Blaze Spawner area where I have uh, kind of updated updated this little thing. I made a little bit of a, a design here so that more blazes could fall out, and we are we are now at one stack of blaze rods. You can see that my XP has gone up quite a bit. And, um, yeah, kind of excited about the uh, way things are going. Um, my enchanted sword is now gone, um, but, but I do have an iron sword and a stone sword with me that I've been piecing together, and I am up for the challenge of finding our, uh, our nether wart, which hopefully won't take too long. Um, we can tell that it's not down there and uh yeah no it's not down there I believe we are going down this way but here we are second episode in the nether in this uh dangerous location we are also trying to keep an eye out and if keep an eye on our subtitles down there. We're trying to make sure that we don't run into um, trying to make sure we don't run into uh, wither skeletons unexpectedly. But if we keep leaving the scumpuses we should be fine. That looks like a dead end. I think that's a dead end. Yeah. Um, the best way to handle a weather skeleton is to make a, um, make a bar on the top that's only too wide because they can't fit under that. So there's a little safety, safety bar for us right now. Dead ends, dead ends, awesome, okay. Uh, we might very well need this, so I'm going to go ahead and collect that. All right, so hopefully we'll find some nether nether wart. That is the only thing we're missing. All right, looks like most of this is all dead end. So we do know that's not going anywhere. Okay, let's head this way, I guess. Dead ends. Those are all dead ends. more blazes. We really have no reason to fight them with 64 blaze rods in our possession. What's going on over here? Looks like we have a nice continuation of the fortress this way. Remember we're laying these down to point in the direction to get us home. Okay. We have found what we are looking for. This is great. And there's another. There's a wither ske uh, skeleton. Right there. If they hit you, they infect you with an. Eff they affect you with a. Uh, a curse called the withering, which slowly drains your life but also turns your little heart counters black I know we're pushing it turning your heart black makes you it's a panicking effect Ooh, there's another there's another one over there 
but we got everything that we need. Let's go ahead and get this stuff. This right here is going to be our base uh, for any potions we make. So we have to mix this with water before we can make most of the potions. Curiosity is going to kill the cat here. All right, we can we can actually head home. You can see how useful the scumpuses are. So thank you again, Skizzleman, for sharing this wonderful little invention. I'll be happy to be my normal, excitable self the moment we get out of here. Oh my gosh, it's both of them. Whew. I know it doesn't seem that intimidating, but they hit hard. Oh, and there's the wither effect. You can see how my hearts are black. Oh man, I could have hit you too. It only lasts for a couple seconds, and it only took a couple of parts of my heart away, but when you're surrounded by like six or seven of those things, it's kind of intimidating. Oh, of course there's a pig. Chased and shot at. That's great. Back across the wasteland. Back across the Soul Sand Delta. Uh, of course, there's a skeleton there. really don't need the pork. Actually. Ho is pretty much dead. Alright, we got a whole full inventory here, and we've got a gas just right under our bridge. If you run, you can't hold... Oh, God. Okay. I could not imagine dying after having 38 levels and a whole, like, all the nether wart we need and uh, more blaze rods than I think I've ever had. These white structures that are sticking up out of the soul sand are actually bone blocks and those are supposed to be um, those are supposed to be fossils from creatures that lived here long ago. I don't suggest running and jumping on these bridges, but I really want to get out of here. This place, without fire 
resistance potions, it's not a good place to be. Now, another fun fact about the Nether is that for every single block that you travel here, like, here's a block, I just traveled a block, that's eight blocks in the overworld. Alright, there's that darn cat. Alright, you, come on. Come on. We gots to go. Cat! What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Okay, let's make you sit. Push you back in there. Man. Cat's got a death wish. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to build something real quick. We are going to have to make... I hear you. Crazy. We are gonna have to make a tether. Oh. What else we're gonna do? is this little guy. We're going to have to set this thing up. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to build a automatic potion collector. So, we'll just give me a minute on that one and we'll do that. What do we got? Let's go ahead and get rid of the cobble. And the ladders. And I think the uh, get rid of the bones. This is awesome. Get out of there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do I need? What do I need? Um, I need string and slime. That's what I need. And I also need five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Not six. Okay, let's go. Make another one. That over here. Gonna need two of those. And we'll say we'll set this up right here. Hopper. Here and potion there. Okay. That'll be that. Um Need to handle that cat problem. Do this. Why not? I actually think I have some in here, yes. Didn't even really need to make it, I only needed three, but four is fine too. That's not gonna fit. There we go. So we'll just um, I don't know. My decorative side is coming out. You'll have to excuse me. Grab that. Oh, no. Let's take some soul sand and put that there. Now soul sand does not need water to work. But we're going to go ahead and do that. And we have a nice little we have a nice little like counter setup going on here. Okay. So that's good. We're gonna need to get some bottles. And two, two, two. I'm gonna just use this for storage at the moment of that. 
Oh, that's right, the darn cat. We're gonna make leads out of string. That's all of my string. And a slime. Okay, rain. Good. <laughs> that sounded like something else. <laughs> oh no. I can't get him because he's in the darn thing. Um. My cat is stuck halfway between the nether and halfway here. Ugh. Okay. Um. Ooh, I hear pillagers still. Still in my garden. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ugh, everything's back and forth. Need an axe. <laughs> We need an axe to save the cat. Just realized how dumb I'm being walking around with the nether wart. Actually, I want to make a farm out of that. We'll, we'll let that sit here and get bigger, but we're going to make a farm downstairs just like the rest of the... Another one. don't want to do that. I can't get past the portal. Ah. Cat. You are aggravating me. I got an idea. Where's my diamond? I've lost my diamond pickaxe. Oh, good. We got a little tree. I've lost my diamond pickaxe, and part of me wants to cry. It's probably down here somewhere. What did I do? This is why a good organization is, um, is paramount, which is why I'm trying to get a good organizational system set up. Do we have a picket? Oh, it's up in my enchanting area. Jeez. Wow. We are not doing good. I enchanted... Um, we now have Fortune 3 on our pickaxe. Nothing else, unfortunately, but that's where books come in handy. Let's go ahead and Take out this brick. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Dippy. Come on. Come on. I don't even need that anymore. Get out of the... This cat. Wow. I'm okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm just coming down from the... Uh, I'm just coming down from being stuck in the nether that long. Anywho. Let's go ahead and drop off things we don't need. So I want to go get that... Um... I want to go get that donkey. That's what I want to do. My cat is aggravating me to no ends. Sit. Okay. I'm going to just dump everything I have. And I will clean this up later. I will also put a... Um, nether wart farm in right now. Ooh, we got thunder. We have thunder and pillagers. 
I think we might actually have to fight those pillagers to get them out of our garden. So what we're going to want is a bucket. We got our sword. Let's we'll just go ahead and have that. We're going to handle this pillager situation. First, you want to get milk. Milk removes um, effects. Oh good. See? Our chickens are working. Ow. Yeah, let's see. Go ahead. Shoot each other. I'm gonna let them go ahead and finish each other off. Looks like they are shooting each other and shooting themselves. Okay, so we have the Voluntary Exile effect, and that's going to stay on us for a long time. Now, all we got was this banner, so we're going to go ahead and let them know that we don't mess around. Anyway, if we drink milk, it'll get rid of the, any potion effects, and for some reason that counts as a potion effect. I got rid of my... I got rid of everything. <laughs> Remember, spiders aren't dangerous during the day. Okay, I know I saw a donkey over here. There you are. Oh, there's another one. Cool, we got a family of donkeys. That is actually pretty cool if you have leads like we do already. Let's go ahead and take this. Anyway, you want to make sure that you don't have anything in your hand and then right click on them. And then what you want to do is, at least from my perspective, is you want to try to aim where he's steering. You're going to get kicked off a few times, that's for sure. But if you try to keep with his movements, he will eventually love you. We can put a saddle on him. And he's pretty darn fast. Now he is going to be instrumental as it comes to trading with the villagers. And the reason I say that is because you can load up, since donkeys are stereotypically the beast of burdens, they carry things for you you can load up a chest that you put on the donkey. Are you stuck? You're getting stuck on the wall. Okay. There we go. So here he is right there. Got our donkey. And if we were to take a trunk like this, pops right on him and we can load up stuff inside of the trunk so he is a portable inventory so if we were to go over and get that other donkey we could actually carry him with a lead which I will do when you guys are not stuck watching me I don't want to have to repeat myself a lot for you guys um, or to you guys because I think it's kind of obnoxious but there we go we got that and he'll probably, he'll, he'll just stay in here. This shouldn't be a problem for him. Um, another thing you can do is if you get a horse, you can breed the horse and the donkey together to get a mule, and you get all the best qualities of the horse and the donkey. Okay, oh, I forgot. We're still growing those. All right, so what is next? Let's go ahead and... Get our bread back. Those. I want to change shoes. I know. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Why don't we take a look at our our 
are enchanting. I made a shovel too. It's efficiency four. It's, it's all right. Our legs, blast protection three. You know what? That would be nice. I like not blowing up. And unbreaking three. That's good. Our sword, breaking three. Our axe, efficiency four. That's nice. Ooh, and silk touch. Looting three. Yes, we want looting three. It's great. And now we're no longer level uh, 38, 9, or 38, or whatever we were. Now, the reason why we want th uh, looting three is because we are going to be. Um, uh, we gotta we gotta go get that dragon if we're gonna get that dragon which means we need to have ender pearls and as you can see we've killed quite a few endermen and we still don't have any ender pearls what i can suggest that we do though is let's go ahead and take these and we'll take the axe and a couple pickaxes and shovels let's take some stuff and uh, let's go for a little bit of a, a walk around and see what we got coming up to us. Because we have this whole other biome over here that we haven't really explored, and we still have some time left of this episode. So let's go ahead and bring that with us. And I don't want to go, oh my gosh, more donkeys. <laughs> all right well you know what i like the donkey we got he's pretty cool he's uh he's really fast he's got a, got a good health levels and he seems to be able to jump all right which are your main qualities in a steed but uh let's check out to see what we got going over here we got ooh pumpkins pumpkins are always good we'll go ahead and take those all right That is a neat landmass. Ooh, we got a brown sheep over there. Okay, which direction are we going in? F3, it's going to tell you Underneath your XYZ, it says block, it says chunk, and it says facing. Right now we're facing east. That's south. So we're going southeast. And hopefully not getting lost, because, of course, again, even though we were going through our materials for adventure and grabbing some stuff, we did not bring our compass yet again. However, if we do get lost, all we have to do is dig down find some find some iron and find some redstone we can build another compass and it'll take us right home and now that only works if you're on the spawn oh look at that look at that that's um coarse dirt coarse dirt you have it's a little bit different sound when you walk on it oh biome are we in? F3. Let's see. We are in a shattered savanna biome. Again, that's on also under where it says XYZ. Uh, towards the bottom of it, it says biome Minecraft shattered savanna. I've never seen one like this, this small. But uh, let's let's get a sapling. So we can have the acacia. I'm not too big on the um, inside of the acacia trees, but the outside, I like the gray. Oh, good, we got one. I like the gray, and also the red can look really good as a rusted metal texture. Oh, we can still see our house way over there. That is why we're building such a tall base. Wow, this place is neat. 
it looks like the sun's going down too so I think we might have just gotten ourselves in a little, little bit of danger but no troubles oh here we go here we go all right check this place out look how pretty this is this is one of the better parts of Minecraft is when you stop and smell the roses and just look around and see how amazing this is we don't have stuff like this in the real world I mean we have the mountains but look at that that I'm not a fan of I don't like floating dirt piles this is just so cool look at that you could build something so amazing inside this little area flanked by waterfalls look at that lava there's lava just pouring out of that pouring out of that oh hi buddy of course I just hit a zombie so every zombie in a 50 in a 50 block radius is going to come at me now that's not even, by the way, me exaggerating. Those are mechanics. The zombies hoard together. Okay, let's see what we got. This is just amazing. I do have to say that I'm really glad that I started doing this. Look at this valley. Yeah, see? Here he comes. I'm really glad that I started doing this playthrough. Not because, not just because I love playing Minecraft and I love to help educate people who are interested but don't know really where to start, but look at the world. Look at this beautiful seed. I've never seen anything like this before and I've been playing for a while. And I get to share this and that makes me happy. Look at that. We just walk out of a savanna right into this, right into a tega. Oh my god. Night exploration is not something that I suggest, but I can't help but think that this is just so beautiful. I don't know what to say, just, uh, look at that. <laughs> All right, let's head on back home. Luckily, water will take away any fall damage that you have, no matter how deep it is. And I don't know. I think we need to build something in here at some point. But first, the dragon. You can actually pick this up with a shovel and plant it anywhere you want, and you'll never get any growth on that that's um, if you take a hoe to it you'll um, if you to if you take a hoe to it you'll actually um, get gravel because there's gravel mixed in with the dirt and then it'll just be regular soil regular dirt you can use the plant You gotta let your sword cool down. You can see that little 
energy bar that goes when you swing it in the middle of the screen. That's the cooldown. Oh, oh, spider jockey. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, spider jockey. I'll turn around and take a look at it once we get to the water. Look at him. Oh, and a drowned. Wow, this is a... Uh, this is an experience, isn't it? There's an Enderman. We do need to start hunting down the Enderman. Or, we need to trade. Now, trading trading up the clerics, those purple robed villagers that come with the, um, that work with the brewing stand, that's difficult. Primarily because what they do is they like to buy zombie flesh from you. That's their, that's their home right there, also the temple. And I don't think we have enough zombie flesh to get what we need. We need stacks upon stacks of that stuff. And as much as I like myself some zombie hunting, I don't really think that's something I want to be a highlight. There's some Enderman. There we go. Come here, guys. We got one. We got one. And that means we're only going to need about 15 more. <laughs> I think it might be a good idea if we use our looting sword and hunt down the Enderman. And we can probably make a good Enderman, what I call an Ender Shack. Uh, rather simple. I feel like taking a look at, from the top. We got a lot of beautiful stuff going on here, and I feel very happy, very lucky to be here and playing with you guys. Maybe a trophy room is what we need next. Look at this stuff. Look at that moon. I know it's not the glowing orb that we get here but gotta hand it to the creators of this game for creating such a beautiful place to play in I'm pretty sure that the thing I need to do next is build a road across the water here something easy something simple and something that leads straight to that village. We'll get that, we'll get that road put up. And it'll come straight over here and we'll deliver a couple villagers. Because we need some villagers over here. I feel like trading. And I think that's going to be our next step. I hope you guys are having a great time. And from me to you, keep playing with your friend. Keep playing with your kids. Keep having fun. Try not to grow up yourself. And I'll see you next time.